just want to show you uh, the chicken coop that we're building. It's my first time ever trying to actually uh, build a chicken coop. And, uh, well, it's been interesting to say the least. <clears throat> but the concept is this is a 4x6. Uh, the run will come out the front right over here. It's going to be the front of it. Okay, and the little doorway there, that's where the bird's going to go in. <clears throat> Using quite a few 2x4s. Got some old uh, flooring from my work that they didn't need, and it just happened to be the right width. And I got about 25, 30 feet of it, so I put that down to make it easier to clean. This back side here, <clears throat> where the sides are here, these, that's where a big door is going to open up from the side. It's just going to either open this way or open this way. I haven't figured that one out yet. But uh, that'll allow me to go inside here and clean everything out. You can see I got one of the roofs there and I got another <coughs> chopped limb there that I got to finish putting up for a roost. The back side here will be all enclosed, except I'll have some vents up in here and over here for ventilation. This little tongue sticking out, that's going to be for the uh, the nesting boxes. It's going to be, each one's going to be about 14 by 14 by 14 or so. <clears throat> if my math is correct, which it probably isn't. So that's going to be pretty neat. <clears throat> and then of course, the birds, the hens will come in through here. Come inside and go ahead and roost up there and just have a good old time. Uh, at least that's the plan. We're going to have a run <coughs> coming from these two posts over there all the way out to about 10 feet, which will probably make it the run right out to here. Uh, it's probably more like 12 feet, but uh, I haven't decided if I'm going to go 10 or 12 feet. Get plenty of room. <coughs> we'll see how that goes. The shingles, it has a shingle roof. Have some OSB up there, but the shingles, it's not the best shingle job in the world. But that's my first time ever using shingles. And I don't think the ladies will complain about it. But uh, yeah, I just kind of left the overhang here until <clears throat> I get the rest of it done so I can kind of trim it down a bit. So that'll also help protect, protect that OSB from the weather. We have had some rain. As you can tell in the sky here, it's really cloudy, so... It's uh, try and see if I can get some more done today. I still kind of need to get the uh, nesting boxes kind of framed up. I gotta put like a two by four right about here across, and then uh, start getting the sides all ready. But it's coming along uh, down here. Once they get through eating all the grass and roots and all that out, they're probably a good place for them to have a dust bath or whatever. It's a work in progress. Uh, it takes me, I only usually get about a few hours during the weekend to get it done and sometimes I'll do something during the week depending upon how busy of a week it is. But uh, that's where we're at right now. I'm going to head back into the, the old garage here. There's, there's my Jeep, my baby. <clears throat> Alright, right here in our uh, garage, I have everything set up for, uh, you know, getting the, the wall set up and everything. And that screen door there, I got from my dad yesterday. He uh, called me up. He knew I was looking for a door for the, uh, the chicken run. <clears throat> and it's a really nice one. It's uh, all aluminum. has a screen in the middle, which I'm going to replace with uh, hardware cloth or chicken wire or whatever will work, will work best with it. So, uh, I'm just kind of place it on top of here. But, uh, yeah, that's kind of where we're at right now. And, uh, get you another shot of the old homestead here. I don't know how many of you know, but, uh, this is just a 1.2 acre lot. We're actually renting. We're saving up to get our own homestead. Which has been slow in the making, but uh, this empty lot on this side here, 
and then this lot here and then that lot over there next to us just before that house over there is all ours so we get pretty good we got a great landlord thanks a lot jim shout out to you and also with coop i want to give a shout out to my dad who uh let me borrow his truck a lot <laughs> seeing this old jeep here she she ain't gonna carry a lot of this one and also uh, to a guy named joey i work with who gave me some extra shingles that when i ran out and of course out to uh keith and jim at work who got me the flooring and everything so all right well i'm gonna go ahead and uh set this camera down and uh, see about getting back to work i'll show you my progress as i go along <laughs> 